All right, so in a few, I'm going to be heading over to my last appointment. And I wanted to vlog about this before I went. Okay, something just made me sick to my stomach. And let me tell you what it was, besides these beer cans laying in front of the library. But, um, so, like I always say, and God always shows me I'm wrong. Not wrong, but I'm right. He shows me that I'm right and I need to apply it to myself. <laughs> I'll just put it that way. Um, as you know, over the past few day, days, I keep on commenting and saying and responding, hey, whatever it is that you're saying about other people, thinking about other people, um, commenting on other people, questioning other people, whatever it is that you're saying, take all of that and apply it to yourself. Okay? Now, God has shown me. And I already knew it was true anyway. That's what I need to do. Because the other day, I was really annoyed because um, I was a little annoyed because somebody said to me, um, what they mentioned to me was, what did they say? They were saying something about, oh, they said something and I was just, it just got on my nerves because I was like, well... You know, if you, instead of judging, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, or feeling whatever negative type of way you feel, if you took the time to see that people have different lifestyles, everybody has a purpose and a plan, and everybody has a reason that they got there, and perhaps learn from what you're being exposed to, because people are not um, subjugated just to your little corner of the world, you know, not everybody lives like you, is like you, whatever, you know learn something from different types of people that have gone through different types of situations etc so all of that applies to me because let me tell you what happened and of course it does because i always say whatever it is that you're saying good bad ugly nice nasty whatever take that and apply it to yourself now um what happened was this i was in the library waiting for my next appointment and charging my phone up a little bit and lo and behold, while I'm in the library, library, <laughs> while I'm in the library, um, there's a young man on the phone. And, okay, I judge based on my appearance. He really got on my nerves, one, because um, I, I should know, because, you know, like I said, I pretty much look homeless all the time ever since I've been court ordered to homelessness. So I've kind of obeyed that and stayed in my lane. But, um, and I'm doing something for y'all guys. I'm 
not intentional with this, but his conversation is starting to make sense. Like, he's handling business, you know what I'm saying? And as I start to listen, I'm starting to listen to my stomach because I have an understanding that, you know, he's on the phone really handling business, like, legitimately, a legitimate business, okay? Now, a couple things come into play here. The people on the other end of the phone, and I think he's legitimate, he's not a scam or nothing like that. The people on the other end of the phone, you know, and he's not being dishonest. So later on, when he has to do that, yeah, you know, you know, actually, he's in the library. You know, he does. You know, he's not being dishonest or anything. He's just can't do this. He's being professional. Now, I love it, you know. I'm just eating it up. And he's a gay guy. Uh, well, he's he's a gay guy. I want to be politically correct and say he sounded to me like he was gay, but he was. I mean, it's just, we all know, just like everybody knows what black is, everybody knows what gay is. It's been around so much. But, I mean, this guy, he was really handling his business. And on top of that, you had other gay guys that were kind of looking like they were homeless that were coming in there. And um, it's so funny, I had to fill my seat because I wanted to make sure nobody took it. But the reason that my seat felt so funny was because, um, I, I got to let y'all in on this. Because, okay, let me tell you. So I'm creative as you guys know. So you know when you go to Family Dollar and stuff like that, you know those big, huge sponges like, the ones that shaped a little bit like a peanut, big, huge yellow sponges um, that you use to wash your car, you can get them for a dollar. So I thought it would be a good idea to try to make a phone case. I, I made a really nice phone case, by the way. 
um, not out of that that I that's sitting at home. But um, yeah. So, anyways, <laughs> I tried to make a phone case out of it, and it was really nice. And as you know, the place I had before didn't have AC at all, and this one technically doesn't either. I have the AC that I purchased for the last place. Um, but um, anyhow, so. I bought it to make a case that I figured, oh, it's so soft and it's unique and everybody doesn't know I have to have a phone. I have to not be getting the phone stolen a couple times. So, um, so yeah, so I have this, um, case or whatever that I made from a sponge and it was really nice, but because there was no AC, the phone was like overheating all the time. So you couldn't keep it on, you know? So for a long time, you know, instead of just throwing the dollar sponge away, I held on to it. <laughs> I figured I could use the part that I could carved out to clean little messes or for artwork, you know, dab and paint and stuff like that. And um, the big part, I was like, well, I can find another use for it later or I'll use it in the winter time as a phone case. So, as you know, I ride, like, have been riding at least 30, at least 30 miles a day. So... And as you guys know, and just stuff, I need to do a reach of things that people would really tell. As you all know as well, I recently decided to go ball in the Netherlands region, which I will not continue to do until I get in real good shape because that hurts. I mean, it doesn't hurt when you do it, but it hurts like, <laughs> like when, I don't know if it's razor is cheap, you get like welts and stuff, you know what I mean? And then also like, I don't know if it's like just the welts or if the hair is coming back, I don't know what the deal is, but I don't like it. So it doesn't feel comfortable at all, especially if you're riding on a bike and you have something uh, pushed into your groin area like for hours, like at the, at the amount of pressure of how much you weigh, which y'all know I weigh probably like about 65, something like that. So. Yeah, so it's not a great experience. So I got this idea that that peanut shape is kind of like the shape between your thighs. You know, like the the inversion of the peanut shape is like where your thighs go. Because I had all kinds of thoughts about it. Like I could get like a big back pad or be an adult diaper or something. Because I was like, going to cushion in the seat more. And then I was just like, or you know, a still padded underwear. But I was like, but it's the purpose not to pad what I got because I like what I have. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah. So I thought about that, and I was just like, because I cannot ride with this seat pushed up into my groin all day long. You know. So what I ended up doing was I took that sponge. I took that sponge. I took that sponge. Thank you so much. I'm so glad like when drivers watch out for me because y'all saw what happened earlier. But I, I took that sponge and I um, I took that sponge. Oh shoot. I took, <laughs> I took that sponge and I put it in my underwear with my legs so that it would pad down there. And it's a huge sponge. It's got to be like that big. But again, like if you're sitting on it all day, you know, not really. So, and it made a big difference. And so when I got back on my bike, I don't have the sponge on now because I have one real close. Um, <laughs> and it does look like I have like some type of thing between my legs with that sponge. But um, I know people think I'm talking to myself because I don't have my earphones in my ears. I could at least put the earphones in to, you know, appearances and stuff, but that's the thing. But, um, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm not looking to see if anybody's looking, but I'm sure that if anybody is, that's what they're thinking. Now, cross the street real quick without getting hurt. So, Like that 
it's just the fact that um I don't have it between my legs, so it feels ridiculous. So for those of you, this is another life hack. For those of you that ride bikes a lot, and I don't know how guys do it because y'all think so. Because your things go out instead of in. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and it hurts. <laughs> I mean, it's, and then they say regular bikers, you guys like ride like 60, was it 60 miles a day? I mean, I'm just doing 30 miles a day and my stuff doesn't go out, it goes in. So to have something pushing up against your groin, and if you're a guy, and your stuff already goes out. I mean, that's really, that's really, really gotta be painful, you know? So I guess, I wonder, like the real, I know when I was growing up, they had biker shorts, but it wasn't nothing but just spandex. So the real biker shorts have like real padding in between, but I can't imagine there'd be enough padding to, <laughs> to do anything with that. Cause like I said, that sponge is that big. Um, yeah, so anyway, back to that guy. I felt sick because I'm like, this man is handling his business. And it's all kind of distractions being thrown his way. Now, he's smart more because he's handling his business in the, in the library. So it sounds like there's background office noise, people on the computer, people talking on the back, in the background, so forth. Now, like I said, he has all kinds of distractions because, of course, there's other people that's listening. You know people are listening to your conversation because it's just interesting. You know, it's not for any unscrupulous reasons or whatever. It's just, you know, to hear somebody intelligently speaking and handling business in the library. And really handling business, not pretending. You can tell when people are pretending or they're just starting out and they're all giddy and happy because, you know, they're like, you know, they're gung-ho about it, you know. He sounded very stabilized. <laughs> like, he's been doing, oh, she's waiting for me. Okay, like, she, he's been doing this for a while. And, um, you know, he, there's no, like, you know, undue excitement in his voice or anything like that. And, um, yeah, so, I mean, I, I really admired the dude. I mean, his voice was stable the whole time, even when he was discussing stuff where, I guess, like, somebody that was a client or co-client of his, you know, they went and signed some stuff they shouldn't have signed. <laughs> and it cost them to lose some money. He was still calm about it. You know, he just explained to them the different options and kept it rolling, you know. Now, to me, if you're in a library conducting business, things ain't going so well. You know what I'm saying? Something happened. If you live with a lover, they keep you out. <laughs> or if you just want to have it in the background, I don't know. But, you know, conducting business in a library, I would be too ashamed to do that. You know what I'm saying? That's like a true homeless. But... I mean, he was handling it well. Like I said, he didn't sound overly giddy. He sounded very stable. Like again, he knew what he's doing. He's doing some time. He didn't let other people reactions and responses. Like he was talking to a couple different people, and then somebody questioned his credibility, and he let them know this is what I do. You know, blah blah blah. And then in the end of it all, you know, oh, he was like, oh no, this person has to pay. <laughs> they have to pay. You know. And he was fair, he was just like, they just paid me whatever, you know what I mean? And it's just, I could really respect that, you know? Um, yeah, so I really respect that. Now, it made me sick because I'm just like, all this time I'm spending, sitting, you know, in the library. I normally, and I hate to say look down, but I guess it's really, in essence, what I'm doing. I look down on people that, I look down on people that, you know, just in the library and don't do nothing. But that's pretty much what I was doing, you know, doing nothing. Well, no, I was planning out, checking my finances and whatever, planning out how I was going to, if I'm across the street, I need a cross. Planning out how I'm going to, um, I hope I don't die. I really don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. But um, I'm planning out, and I have the right of way, by the way. Not that it matters. <laughs> I'm planning out how you know my fan finances are looking. Now, when I decide to plan that stuff out, it's already a little bit, you know, it's like I wing it. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm like, okay, 
I can take off this amount of time, but you know, such circumstances change, my rent is a little bit higher. And I blew a lot of money on stuff that I didn't need that I thought I needed because I thought I was gonna stay where I was at. But then when I found out what I found out, I was like, oh heck no, there's no way that I'm staying there, you know? So So yeah, um I don't like the fact that and I think they do this on purpose with self stuff this is Right. When I get a chance, I will. And the way the power buttons and stuff are, um, if you put it any other way, you're going to end up turning your phone off by mistake. And I'm really not trying to do that either. So, um, yeah. So, I have a little bit of time to vlog real quick. So, um... I'm gonna buy a big bag of chicken. I'm not gonna fry it, I'm gonna do shake and bake. Um, because I don't really want my face smelling like oil and then it'll be kinda of awkward to cook outside because you know I really don't feel like being you know, thrown into a little social bucket <laughs> and um I can tool around the side of the building but I don't feel like cleaning up, you know, all that crap that he had there that he's supposed to deduct to somebody's less than somebody else's rent to clean. Yeah. Um, so, which I don't mind doing, but right now my time is short and time is money, so I can't do doing stuff and taking time to do things and then um, putting money in my pocket or you know, reducing bills. So that's how I feel about it right now. But it's all for me in the long run. Um, yeah, so. <sighs> I wonder where I am, I shall be tired. I just had to do this real quick. Hopefully, they'll see me a little bit early because I want to get this over with so I can get home. Um, and do some things, you know, all that good stuff. Um, get this chicken so I'll have a little variety. Um, good, bad, and ugly of today so far. The good, I'm very proud of myself because I did prepare the chicken for the day. Um, I'm very proud of myself because I did prepare my food. I had three hot dogs this morning before I came out to do everything. Um, also, this lighting is so bad, but also I'm proud of myself because... Um, I'm proud of myself because um, because of what else because whew, um, I also packed my little thing of rice and I ate that all I have left now are fruits and I don't know I think my body needs protein well I have a banana in there but I think it needs support once because that's what I really want to go get right now but let me see what time it is and I'll finish vlogging later